It's 2022. Is Cardano still a ghost chain? Was it ever a ghost chain? Welcome to Crypto Bytes. Welcome back to Crypto Bytes 2022 edition, where we break down the news and information in the crypto space into bite sized chunks. I'm your host, Rick. And this is Rob. Click the sub, smash the like, ping the bell, but most importantly than all, spread the link, retweet it. Make sure to follow us on Twitter at Our Heroes Crypto and your boy Keys for all things NFTs at NFTs with Keys. Also, we are a stake pool operator. Check us out, ticker AGC. This is like the Cambrian explosion in the Cardano ecosystem. And we, there's individuals coming together to form groups. These groups are now forming specialized uh, projects and services. And I, I know you're probably looking around, getting really confused, overwhelmed with everything that's coming at you. And, 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 and how can you get involved? Well, what can I do? Am I, am I too late? Is it, it's just all too confusing. Well, we're going to show you how easy it is to onboard into the Cardano community and become a part of the ecosystem. Yeah, let, let's first talk about wallets. So we covered uh, a few wallets in previous segments. So if you haven't, check out those videos. But we're going to be using CC Vault and NAMI wallets. So uh, let's go to uh, ccvault.io, download the browser extension. Uh, you can connect a hardware signed device like a Ledger or a Trezor or create a new mnemonic wallet. We recommend setting it up as a single address wallet. If you've imported an HD wallet, head over to the settings tab and turn on single address mode. Uh, important, if you're using a Ledger at this time, Ledger is unable to sign uh, Cardano smart contracts. So that's why we're going to be using NAMI. Now that CC Vault is installed, fund your wallet. The first thing we recommend to do once your wallet is funded is to stake to a pool. This secures the network. It also allows all the blockchain functionality to work. Yeah, in return, when the pool you delegate to mints a block, you'll get an ADA reward. Right now, it's about 4% annual. In CC Vault, go to the staking tab. We would appreciate if you stake with us. Search the ticker AGC. There we go. Hit the delegate button, complete the transaction. Uh, there's a two ADA deposit fee, uh, but that'll get returned to you if you ever unstake your wallet. But you can always delegate to another pool at any time. Well, I mean, what if I wanted to spread it around more than one pool? You know, I'm a pretty generous guy with my delegating from my wallet. Yeah, no problem. Uh, just go to the accounts tab. You're able to create multiple accounts under the same seed phrase, and they're able to be delegated to different pools. Oh, you mean I could delegate both to AGC and the Barry pool? Yes, you can. Yeah, oh. or any other pool that you like. After delegating your wallet, uh, let's now install NAMI Wallet. Head over to namiwallet.io. Brought to you by the Berry Pool. Download the browser extension. So NAMI Wallet is the most supportive wallet in the Cardano ecosystem right now. Think of it as your hot wallet equivalent to what Metamask is for Ethereum. CC Vault does have DAP connector support, and it's only a matter of time before more websites start to support it. Yeah, I'm really excited about that. Yep. NAMI, NAMI, you're doing, doing wonderful work. All right, so now they got both your CC Vault and your NAMI set up. Let's check out some NFT marketplaces. Let's head over to cnftjungle.io. This website is a Cardano NFT aggregator. And like most CNFT marketplaces, you can mint your projects here as well. Side note, if you are a CNFT creator, there's nothing to be worried about in regards to where you list your NFT projects. CNFT Jungle solves this problem. You will be able to search listings from five CNFT marketplaces. When you find a listing that speaks to you, just click on it. Find out more about straights. Like the price? Click on the price and it'll redirect you to a marketplace where you can buy it. Just connect your NAMI wallet and complete the transaction. We prefer marketplaces where you can interact with smart contracts and have a no hassle purchase experience. I like that, no hassle purchase experience. Yeah, you don't have to wait 24 hours for someone to send you a, an <clears throat> NFT or be let down up to 24 hours when they don't send you that NFT. Or uh, weirdly ambiguous gas fees. <laughs> yep. So uh, once you have your NFT, head over to the game controller in the NAMI wallet. From here, you can set the NFT as your avatar. 
If you're interested in a visualization of ADA or token movements, head over to pool.pm. In the NFT section, you're able to see what is being minted and which NFT and tokens are being moved. There's a lot more you can do on these websites, so we'll let you explore them at your leisure. It's being said that 2022 is the year of DeFi and Cardano. Let's check out the first working decks that's live on the mainnet. Muesli Swap. Is that how you say it? Muesli Swap? Yeah, it uh, might be hard to say. It might be even harder to spell. So you might want to bookmark ada.muesliswap.com. Link down below in the comments. <laughs> so it's a pure order decks model, which means that only exact orders will be matched. It uses smart contracts, and so far, I have not had any issues. Not sure what you're looking at? Click on the name to see additional information, like market cap, circulating supply, or total supply. You can even click on the website to find out more about the project. Once you've done your own research, connect your NAMI wallet and place a bid. Or you can click on the sell order to place a matching bid. Head over to the My Trades tab on the left to view your open orders. When your order is filled, come back to this tab to view additional information if you don't see the tokens in your wallet. This is just a small fraction of what you can do on Cardano and only a handful of projects that were highlighted. For safety reasons, we recommend that you remove any whitelisted site from your NAMI wallet that was connected to. To do this, go into your NAMI wallet and click on the avatar in the upper right. Go down to settings and click the whitelisted sites. Here you can see all the websites you connected to, just click the X to remove. To find out more and explore the ecosystem, head over to cardanocube.io. Click on the Cardano ecosystem tab to view the interactive map. From here you can start to explore other projects that are being built on Cardano. Last, get connected to the growing Twitter spaces community. There are spaces being hosted at regular times throughout the day and week. Come in listen, ask questions, and interact with people in the rooms. Just to name a few spaces, Cardano for Coffee, Cardano Nights, Cardano Stoners Club, Cardano on Tip, Epochs on Dumpling Space, and We Are Cardano. To wrap this up, Cardano is for builders. There are DevOps teams and individuals building the tools needed to grow the ecosystem. And it's not about just having coding skills. It's also about being able to advertise your pool and building community. Ah!